<laughs> Highline Z. <laughs> now it's an American scenario, so it's Highline Z. Okay, so I wanted to run the Seaberg barn in the winter to take a look and see what it looks like. And I've forgotten to turn track IR on, haven't I? Never mind. Yeah. Not the end of the world. There's no the rail driver isn't hooked up yet either. Right, lights off, instruments on. Uh, I've got to remind myself what I'm even doing. Oh right, so we've got to come across here and stop at Armsfeld exit south. I wrote this scenario and I can't even remember what I'm doing. Loco fits lovely in the uh, the winter, doesn't it? Right, let's get moving. Well, I hope you've all had a good break. I thought some of you might not be going back to work uh, on the Monday um, or school, and uh, so let's do a stream in the afternoon. I'm not going to do afternoon streams Tuesday and Wednesday, but I am going to try and start them earlier on. All right, I've got clear to pass through there. Oh, it's F3 HUD. Yep, good shout. Thanks, Eastmill123. Glad you enjoyed the, uh, the model railway streams. I'm going to try and do more of those. Am I going to play FSX tonight? No, it'll be more train sim tonight. I'm not running with PZB because I've no idea if this will even work with PZB. Um, at some point I'll do a bit more testing. I wrote this scenario earlier on, it's got AI trains in it and everything. Um, so, oh, heaven knows what's going to go wrong. Especially with me running slowly like this. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, next we have to go and couple to... Oh yeah, I see where we are. <laughs> I forgot where we were. <laughs> and a couple to those wagons up there, which are in uh, this line here, which looks like that one. Hopefully that'll give us the right line. Harmsfold 5. No header info. No, I'll set that up once we get moving. Back. I think actually I need to be in that one. Now we've got arms fold five. That's better. So yes, this is uh, Seaberg Barn by as well is the route, and it's a custom scenario that I've written just because I wanted to see this route in the uh, in the winter in the snow. I guess it's about to get very cold, so. Uh, Uh, Bus Mad Boy, if you're trying to make, if you want me to play it, then it can't have reskins in it. Uh, I don't play anything that I've got, because I, I haven't got any reskins installed, and I don't install anything uh, that's not on Steam on this machine. Uh, the weather over here for over winter, I wouldn't call it winter. We've had to basically spring all year, all, all over the season. But yeah, as uh, King Kiapo says, we quite often get our winter um, after everybody else. 
Right, open that up. We've got the wagons, let's couple up. Alright, now we're going to Seaburg. It isn't a long scenario. Oh yeah, it's the fourth. Yeah, all what I mean is all all winter it's been spring. It's moving a little bit less sprightly now it's got all those container wagons behind it. We've had snow on the... oh, we haven't had snow at all. Best we've had is a little bit of rain down here. Other parts of the country have had um, um, some uh, fairly nasty uh, rain, flooding and so forth, but certainly down where we are, it's got a bit wet is about the most you could say about it. Hey Amarillan. Interesting to see how many of these AI trains are still working. Or whether that's oh actually I have a sneak I wonder if this is gonna route the train the AI train on the right path. Oh well, let's see. No, it looks like we're going on the right hand side. Excellent. <laughs> it's any problem with writing running a running running a scenario you've written yourself when you haven't actually tested it and you're like, ah, will it actually work? I did make a mistake when I first put all the AI down in that I didn't put... Uh, I put it all on the wrong track. Hopefully I've found them all and moved them. I was in British mode. No services from Glasgow to Carlisle to February. Wow. Oh, this is a bad sign. <laughs> Why aren't you going anywhere? Oh, he's probably only just been given permission from uh, with me having got out of his way, hasn't he? All right, then I'll I'll let him off with that. That's fine. Right, we've got a hundred kilometres an hour limit now. Hey Stonework, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Hey Pavaglock. Nice, bit of steam. Oh, I've got an 80 coming up, so I'm going to start winding the power down. Hey there, Josh. Welcome. Going to run your um, part five of the Highline Z later on. So 
So yeah, this is a workshop route. If you haven't didn't see it last week, we sh we showed it in the su I showed it in the summer. This is it uh, in the winter. I thought it would uh, it ought to look rather nice in the winter, and it certainly does actually. Hey there, grizzly bear. So I'm looking at starting this evening's stream earlier at about 8 o'clock. How does that fit with everybody? It's about an hour and a half, 90 minutes earlier than normal. People keep telling me, start the stream earlier, so I'm going to have a go at doing that this uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I'm going to start the stream earlier and see how people, uh, what people think of that. What sort of tutorials do people want? I mean, I've had requests for super elevation. That's on my to-do list, um, and I've had requests for um, catenary, which is on my to-do list. What other, what other ones? So there's rail fan scenarios. That's one of the ones that I need to make a note of. Rail fan scenarios. Ooh, the six two eight from Moselle Valley. Um, what other tutorials do people want me to uh, start looking at? Are there any locos that I can do how to drives on? Let me know and I'll start thinking about it. Because I, I don't want to just... I want to try and make an effort this year to do more than just running scenarios. <laughs> Ed wants a Steam Loco driving and firing tutorial. Well, you would want one, Ed. <laughs> making a scenario. Um, well, I've already done making a scenario um, three or four times. I could do it again. Is there anything particular? What, the BR24? Ride car, the German loco with the automatic tap changer. I take it you mean this one. So BR155 uh, tutorial, uh, the 1991 tutorial, okay, yeah. I'll do another Steam tutorial, I'll try not to make a mess of it this time. Ah, oh, come on mouse. My mouse has got... Oh, it's up there, that's why. Ah, okay, my mouse disappeared. Any snow in the UK? No, nope. no snow here. FEF3 and Connie tutorials. How to make move the reference point? You start in the wrong place. You can't move the reference point. It's one of the fundamental things in a route that you can't change. Otherwise, it would make merging routes significantly easier because you could remerge it. The reasoning is because everything is done relative to that. So all the scenery is placed relative to it. All the markers are placed. Everything is done relative to that start. And there is no automatic way of doing it. I don't know whether root RW tools can maybe do it, but I'm not aware that it can. How not to Nebworth? I did stop at Nebworth, and it's ruined every one of PJT scenarios ever since. <laughs> A tutorial on adding audio and video. Okay, yeah, that's a good shout. I can do that. Six and a half kilometres to go. Told you it wouldn't be a long journey. The 
the FEF3 tutorial. I'm not really a good person to do an FEF3 tutorial, but... <laughs> Uh, Amarillan, you can edit some of the files to get it close. So you can you can rename all of the files to move the into roughly the right place, but so that you can effectively you can move the markers so that the blocks move across. So you can put the tiles in the right places. But then what happens is all the things actually inside the tiles are, are offset as well. So you'll never get it exactly where you want it. But if you re rename uh, all of the f marker tiles, I think that kind of does it. But I wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I wouldn't want to. I haven't gone to Nebworth yet. I'm going to actually try and do that tomorrow. That's one of the reasons that I don't want to do a stream tomorrow afternoon, because I want to uh, save some time for doing that. Uh, Dan, um, Fine Squire, I've got no idea about... I haven't seen Danny's post, so I don't know. Um, and until I know what's going on there, I'd, I'd probably best not saying anything. Just pushing the speed up. We've also got uh, an uphill grade coming up now. Definitely looks cold in the we uh, in the winter, doesn't it? The, the cold, the snow effects on the uh, on loco really do make it fit in nicely, don't they? Oh, I may not have thought this out. <laughs> uh, this scenario ends at Seaburg. Yes, it does. So it isn't very long. Uh, we're due in there in about 13 minutes. Next scenario is about 45 minutes. Kev Rev, you're more than welcome to ask anything you like about fishing. I'll do my best. I'm not a fisherman, though. Right, we're being warned about the stop. We're coming up to Seaburg Yard 7, is just in front of us. German Signals tutorial. I will see what I can put together. I guess an American Signals tutorial as well, because it's relatively straightforward, but I guess until people know how they're doing it, it's uh, it's, it's not that straightforward. Dusty, I don't have the Frankfurt Underground because it's not on Steam, I'm afraid. Should it go on Steam, I will. Why don't I do any more UK Train Sim exhibitions? Because they cost a fortune to run. Um, and uh, it was uh, not really worth the bother, to be perfectly honest. Not anymore. The in-cab signalling on the New York-New Haven route. I've actually already covered that on the... Um, uh, on the a ACS 60, how to drive the ACS 64, that covers the uh, New York to New Haven uh, and exactly how to deal with that. So hopefully that answers everyone's questions on that one. Yeah, Josh, I'm well aware of the um, signal speed limits, I just need to uh, read up on them and uh, make sure I've got all the, the facts straight on them. At the moment, in the case if I know that they are there, I just um, don't, don't adhere to them. <laughs> right, coming into Seaburg. A short but sweet run on the new Seaburg barn line.
Can we have an how to be an awesome streamer tutorial? I was going to actually set up, I don't know about an awesome streamer tutorial, but I was going to set up a um, um, a stream, uh, or a video at least, actually showing people how to set themselves up so that anyone can do streaming. Because it's really, really easy. Um, but like all things, um, it's really, really easy only after someone told you how to do it. Right, I've almost got into Seaburg Yard 7. Haul up to this signal, get the train in, and we're ready to go. Christmas competition scenario. Chasing New Year's, says P. Choate. Okay. Maybe run that site this evening, then. Right. Are we in? We're in! Look at that. It will fit. Well, considering I didn't actually test that scenario, I'm quite pleased with that. That did pretty much exactly what it needed to. X9012, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Well, this is where I actually I was in the middle of trying to make the scenario do something else. So I'll just have to do an uncouple. Uh, what I wanted to do was leave the wagons here uh, and go and get another set of wagons and take them somewhere else, but uh, that wasn't working. <laughs> right, okay, that is uh, that scenario. So I'm quite pleased that wasn't, uh, that was, uh, I was a bit nervous that wasn't going to work. Superb. Right, let's switch it to uh, the old changing route. Um, 